All right, Zay Tuff Radio, your boy Justin Case in the Hall of Down, you know what I'm saying, in the studio, my man Nelly. What's happening? What's good, cousin? How are you? You're chilling, man. What you doing down here in the A? Um, we down here finishing up the St. Lunatics project right now, so, okay. you know, we're having a bunch of family and people come through, you know, just hollering at us, blessing us with beats and stuff like that. So. Yeah, that's just good. Let me ask you, though, how did you get into the music, though? I mean, what kind of struggle did it take for you to get into it? I mean, when we first started, we did it like, um, we did it, how, I think, how it's supposed to be done, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. grind, the put in the work, um, it, it didn't come easy, you know what I'm saying? It took us a, a long time. Yeah. I don't think you would really want it if it didn't, if it didn't come no other way, you know what I'm saying? It definitely makes it worth it, so. Um, I mean, you ever got booed off the stage or anything when you was up there? People kind of shut you down when you was first getting started? You know what? Um, it was kind of kind of rough. I mean, I, I wouldn't really say boo, but not really seeing the crowd move the way you yeah. want them to move, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, like I said, again, it was a grind for us, so we, we did pretty good, you know what I'm saying? We did like the talent show things, we was winning those, and we was doing our own little shows okay. and, and stuff like that, and we pretty much got the support of St. Louis just off that and just seeing the hustle. That's just good. So I'm saying, when you was growing up, you don't want to be like a teacher, a policeman or something? <laughs> I'm saying you always have music in your head or... I mean, nah, nah, nah. You know, when you growing up, you, you got a list of shit that you want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got a long list. Anything you see, you want to do. You know, from garbage man to fireman to... I always wanted to be the trap man growing yeah, up in Las Vegas. I used to see the trash man... Uh, <laughs> no, I, trap, trap. No, I wanted no. to be the trash man back... Cause I used to want to ride on the back of the truck. I used to, oh. see, I used to you know what I'm saying? So when I was like nine, I was like, damn, this thing, that's tight. You know what I'm saying? I was, so that's what I wanted to do just so I could ride on the back of the motherfucking truck. So, But uh, <laughs> other than that, I, it was pretty much sports for me. Shoot your eye, yeah, shorty here. For me tonight, she like the way I, the way I push the pedal. And shorty can ride and she like to hold the middle. She's so she fine, she fine, she fit this floor. Four things love about her. Who would you say your main inspiration was to get into the game, though? Um, you had some I mean, you shit, up to? you had so so many, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love the game as a whole. You know, okay. with us being in Missouri and St. Louis, you know, we in the middle, so yeah. we got a mixture of everything. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we was getting, we was getting the East. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We was definitely getting the L's and the EPMDs and the Rock Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was from the West. We was definitely getting the NWAs and the yeah. Q's and, <laughs> and all that. And then, you know, we was getting the Scarfaces and the Ghetto Boys and mm -hmm. all that. You know what I'm saying? From the uh, South yeah. and the UGKs. And so we was getting a mixture of everything up there, man. Um, even like Twister and all that, yeah, you know, I grew up uh, do or die. Twister is my people, do or die. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we get it all. Yeah, because I know when I was growing up, I always wanted to do radio and stuff. Yeah. But for some reason, man, when I used to hear your song, you know, Ride and stuff, if you want to ride with me, we would put the shit on motherfucking replay. Me and my girl <laughs> drive around and get high. And it seemed like I'd hear the song nine or ten times. Oh, shit, I'm glad you I could help. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to tell you that, man. But what yeah, you got popping in the future, though? Well, right now, you know, we just finishing up the St. Lunatics album. Okay. Um, you know, my brother is out right now. He did eight and a half years. A lot of y'all might know I wore a Band-Aid back in the day because my little brother was um, he was incarcerated. Okay, so that was for your brother, then? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. He was holding it down. So he's out now. So, you know, we thought it was only fit to do this St. Lunatic project. Yeah. We was trying to hold out until he got out. So now he out. Mm -hmm. um, we working on his solo project as well. Murphy okay. Lee has a project coming out. We got an artist by the name of Avery Storm's got a project. Okay. And um, I'm getting back to it again. So, That's you know, we good. just trying to get it in. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it. No doubt, cuz. I appreciate yeah, it. It's all good.